Well, good Saturday morning to you. Uh, it is 9.17. I am up and I am on the road. I'm not showered though, because I wasn't expecting to be on the road. Uh, I've actually been up, cleaned out the vehicle for Vanessa, loaded it up with the bells she needed. Uh, she was doing some bell repair last night. I'm gonna need them today for performance. I loaded that all up. Now I'm off to pick up Vanessa's friend who's going to be joining her for the day and spending the night with us. Uh, Vanessa was going to pick her up, but she's not ready yet. And her friend needs picked up a little earlier than what she thought. So I'm going to go do that. Then I'll go home and eventually I'll have a shower. But Vanessa will be getting on the road in the next hour or so. She has a performance at noon. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And then, who knows after that. Well, Vanessa is off for the day with her friend. And I'm going to meet up with them a little later. Only another couple hours. Uh, just to watch some of Vanessa's performance in Scottsdale. Right now I'm just cooking up some breakfast tacos. I've got some red pepper that I'm just sauteing up. I'm going to throw some eggs in there. And then I've got some yellow corn and flour tortillas that I'm heating up. So it'll be a tasty little breakfast. Yummy, yummy. All right, I gotta get back to cooking. Well, I am headed to Scottsdale Quarter now. I'm all showered and dressed for the day and I'm gonna go see Vanessa play bells for a little while. Uh, it starts at 12, it's 12 now, but it's just an outdoor thing, so it's not like I'm gonna be interrupting a concert or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna be about half hour late, I think, depending on traffic conditions, because it's all the way up at the north end of town. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a little closer. My bad. So I gotta get on the 101, which is, I don't know, it's not up there on my list of roads I wanna be driving on, especially on a Saturday. But we will make it happen. Traffic's not too bad, I'm over in the HOV lane. I'll just cruise along here for a few miles until it's time to get off. The freeway, that is. You, you know what I meant, right? Okay, so here's the deal. Down in the parking garage, and I have no idea where I am. Never been to Scottsdale Quarter before. It's a big shopping center. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to get out of here, get up to the surface out of here, figure out where I am, figure out where Vanessa's playing. I imagine it's gotta be some sort of central area. And then I remember where I'm parked too. Okay, this is a lot like Santan Village, only on a much bigger scale and a little more upscale. Well, it is Scottsdale. Now, where do I go? Hmm. I'm gonna guess it's somewhere around here. All I gotta do is listen for the sound of bells. I hear bells. It's gotta be up here behind this restaurant. Perfect. That wasn't bad at all. I'm parked right near here. I picked the right corner. I think it's that intuition or ESP or TSN or whatever. Come to Scottsdale. That's what you see. Thought I'd go for a walk, check things out here, and didn't take very long. There is not much here at all, except for the Ferrari parked over there, and the Lamborghini parked over here. Not so sure I like that one. I'm gonna go back to the Bells, check out a little bit of that again and then probably head home. There's not really much to do over here. It's a nice day though. 
a little cooler again today. Vegan gluten-free smoothie time. This will be a first for me. The ingredients look delicious. And I bet you anything it'll be better than that into juice I got the other day. Getting one from True Food Kitchen. Sourest smoothie ever. Well, that's just peachy. I knew this was gonna happen though. I didn't charge my battery, and I don't have any other charged batteries with me. In fact, I have no charged batteries at all. So I'm gonna have to go home, charge battery, before I can record anything else, unless I use my phone. If anything comes up, I'll use my phone. I'm gonna be heading home soon anyways. See the puppies, take it easy for a bit before I head out to Coolidge for Vanessa's other concert. See you in a bit. Vanessa is sending me to a candy store to look for sugar-free candy for her. But I feel like it's a mistake for me to go in there because I want sugary candy for me. Oh well. Well, I made it out of the candy store. There's only two candy bars. Nothing for Vanessa because they didn't have anything sugar-free. Well, they did, but it was the Maltitol kind, which gives you the anal leakage. I didn't have erythritol, which is the good stuff, which is hard to find, like impossible to find. All right, I'm gonna go home, have some quality puppy time, relax for a bit, maybe get some cleaning done around the house, and then I'm off to Coolidge. I think I'm leaving at about 5.30 for concert at 7.00. As long as I can get out of this parking garage in one piece, I'll be in business. Well, since I was up this way and I was on my way back home, I figured why not stop off at the big car show that's here every Saturday and check things out. I don't get up here very often. It's been a number of months since I've come up here for the car show. So I figured I'd take like half an hour check out what's here today look it's a smart car won't you buy me a night on the town everybody oh lord won't you buy me there's an all original Plymouth Hemi back there barn find that looks like a brand new car who wants $275,000 for it that's kind of crazy. I don't think it's worth that. I really don't. It's cool, but yeah, I don't know. Well, I gotta get home. As much as it's nice out and I'd like to stick around and watch a lot of cars arrive, because this is like arrival time for a lot of them, I just gotta get home. I'm tired still. Puppies will want to play a little bit, have some lunch, get some snuggles, and then uh, I gotta leave in like a couple of hours. So I think that would be the best and wisest decision. But yeah, there was some cool stuff there. Nothing jaw dropping, but definitely some cool stuff. Well, after some relaxing at home, and uh, I got a coffee too. I stopped at Coffee Rush and got a coffee. I stopped at Fired Pie and got a pizza. So I've eaten and caffeined myself up. I haven't had a coffee in a few days and I kind of needed it. I had a headache. That is now taken care of. That's weird, a pickup truck full of little kids just pulled up in front of our house. Okay, that was weird. After they all unloaded, I think there's a party over around the corner. I could hear music from our backyard. After parking and unloading all the kids and everything, 
I walked away and then while I was plugging in our lights, guy came back and asked if it was okay if he parked there. Yeah, it's not my driveway, it's the road. And you're not parked in my yard, so of course it's okay. All right, so I got the floodlights plugged in. I was gonna try and get the other two that I bought hooked up, which I have not done yet. I uh, didn't do it, so I'll do that tomorrow. It'll only take like 10 minutes, so I don't know why I haven't done it before now. Uh, but at least I got the ones plugged in that are already out there. So when we come home tonight, it'll be sorta Christmassy out here. Better than nothing, I guess. Next year though, tons of lights all around the house. The entire house, got big plans. All right, I gotta get in the car and get on the road. I've got a 45 minute drive ahead of me. Off to beautiful Coolidge, Arizona and the Performing Arts Center, also known as the High School. Driving out in the big black expanse of night. There's a small town over there. Other than that, not much going on out here. A few cars every once in a while, or trucks. That's a truck. Woohoo! Why did I make that noise? That's weird. I guess I'm a little uh, caffeined up. I'm a little hopped up. Oh, nice high beam. Thank you. I needed that. Not really. Well, I've arrived with lots of time to spare. But it's a good thing I said to myself. I said, self, maybe you should plunk that into the GPS. And I did before I got to town. And it's a good thing I did, because I would have had no idea where I was or how to get here. It's a little bit bigger than what I thought. It wasn't just drive into the main intersection of town and go, ooh, there's the high school. No, not quite like that. But I'm here. It should be a good show. first half of the concert was pretty good. I was impressed. It was uh, orchestra and choirs. And then the second half will be handbells and choirs and orchestra. So it should be pretty awesome. I'm just gonna sit here during intermission and uh, let everybody else go to the bathroom and then I'll go later. I think that's a good idea. That's it, concert's over. It was absolutely amazing. I am so glad I came. There, I had a thought for a while there, or this morning, that I wasn't gonna come. I was just gonna stay home with the puppies. But I am so glad I came. Vanessa played a solo, or yeah, solo bells as part of a mixed quartet. And she was awesome. She was like totally on her game. She said she had one mistake. I didn't notice it. I meant to, well, I didn't think to record it until she was like halfway through and I was like, oh, I should be recording this. So I did record like the last half. If it's usable, if the sound is okay, because I did it on my uh, big camera, 
If the sound's okay, I'll include it next. So even if it's not the greatest, I'll include at least a little clip after this. head home now for the puppies and Vanessa has to pack up so she'll be heading home after that so I imagine she'll get home like an hour after me or so all right on with the show the drive home I'm actually looking forward to it oh and this is Main Street Coolidge on a Saturday night I believe this would be the Main Street uh, it's probably not the downtown, but hey, it's one of the main streets that runs through Coolidge. I know that much. Hopefully I remember where to turn to get back home. Or I might end up in who the hell knows where. It's up here somewhere. Dang, look at that sky. I like that. That's cool. Party going on a couple doors down two or three doors down lots of people there still kids adults imagine some no kids and adults that would be the only kind of people there would be uh yeah home with the puppies letting them out for a potty and then i'm gonna go inside and do the same because i've been holding it all the way home that's not good for you so don't do that Well, I think it's time to wrap things up for the night. Puppies are fed. Uh, Vanessa's on her way home with her friend. And they're going to stop and pick up Grimaldi's pizza because we're all hungry. And I think they'll get there just in time before they close. It's uh, 10.30 now. So they should be back here probably just after 11, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if I showed you, look, I showed you this tree, but Vanessa added this ribbon thing to it, which is kind of cool. It's got that puffy ribbon thing at the top, and then it's got all these streamers that come down. It's really cool. We've never had three trees before. We've never had two trees before, and now we have three. So it's kind of cool. I like this one, our new one. Okay, um, I'm going to sit down drink some water I think I'm a little dehydrated today and wait for Vanessa and pizza and yeah and get to bed because tomorrow I'm going to see Star Wars again and Vanessa has some bells up in Scottsdale again same thing she did today in Scottsdale so I've been asked to go and take a group photo of them so as long as they're still there and I'm out of seeing Star Wars, then I'll go up there and do that for them. Because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm a nice guy. If you ask me to take your picture, I'll take your picture. So if you're watching this, you want your picture taken, let me know. It'll be very creative. Alright, I will talk to you later. Now that I've rambled for almost two minutes. Uh, peace, love, and lots of amazing good music today.